When you vote on protecting marriage this November, your vote will affect every family in your state, including yours. Hello, I'm Tony Perkins, President of the Family Research Council here in Washington, D.C. You may be asking yourself, how will same-sex marriage affect my family? Well, based on the evidence, everything changes when same-sex marriage becomes legal. If it is legalized, then it must be taught as normal, acceptable, and moral behavior in every public school. Don't believe me? It's already happened in Massachusetts. That means public schools in every grade, even kindergarten, must teach your children to accept same-sex marriage. This really confuses children. David, appreciate you and Tanya inviting us to come uh, into your home. I've been looking forward to sitting down and talking to you about this because I think this is such an important story and, and, and what's happened with Rob and Robin. I think parents, uh, I think they want to know and I think parents need to know what's happening in our schools. The beginning of 2005, our son Jacob was going into kindergarten and he came home with a diversity book bag. And in the diversity book bag was a book entitled Who's in a Family by Robert Scutch. And that introduces children to same-sex households. Now, wait a minute, let me be clear. Your son is in kindergarten. Yes. And he was given a book about homosexuality and marriage? Yes. What, what was your first reaction when you saw this? When I saw the book, I was um, quite upset that uh, they would couch this as diversity and include it in a diversity book bag and, and not give me notification that they were going to be um, introducing this topic of homosexual relationships and homosexual behavior and uh, to my young five-year-old child. I was, I was um, very upset. I have the book right here. Who's in a Family? It introduces children to such things as Clifford and her dad's partner, Henry. This is what they sent home with your five-year-old? That's correct, Tony. Well, Rob, Robin, tell me what happened with your kids. Well, back in March of this year, our son came home Friday afternoon and bounded in the front door and said, Mom, Dad, guess what? Our teacher read us the funniest book. It was so silly. And we asked him, what did you mean by that? He said, well, um, it was about a prince who was getting married, but he didn't marry a princess. He married a prince. Hmm. Isn't that so silly, Mom? We were both really shocked. We thought, oh. Maybe he has the details wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you were hoping. Yeah. yeah. That's unbelievable. That afternoon, we sent the teacher an email message. The teacher called back and said that, yes, it was a book about two princes who got married. Well, what book was it? It's called King and King. It's a story that introduces the idea of men having a romantic relationship and getting married. Mm. We were shocked. Another astonishing thing is that our son was able to quote sentences from the book that made that much of an impression on him. And, and your son is how old? He's seven years old in second grade. And they read this book to him? Yes, in the formal classroom setting with his teacher as an authority figure presenting this concept as something that is good and right and the way things should be. And that forced you all to do what? Well, we needed to talk to our children and sit them down and tell them what our views on homosexuality are, that we don't believe that this is correct behavior and that in our family we choose not to follow that kind of behavior. And we were not prepared to talk about this subject at the age of seven years old. Do you see the implications of same-sex marriage being legalized in your state? It affects every family and every child, including yours. Every household with children will find themselves dealing with same-sex marriage discussions with their kids. So, when you cast your vote this November, know the full implications of the legalization of same-sex marriage. It affects every family, including yours. So vote to protect marriage, because how you vote today affects your family tomorrow.